I'm in the McDonald's drive-thru and I just got my hair trial done for the wedding. But I don't have makeup on so I am like, I hate how I look. Um, which is a sad thing to say, but you know, it's uh, true. But my hair turned out sick. Um, the back is the coolest part. So I'll like try to go home and have my mom film the back because it's pretty freaking cool. I'll try to get it. Ooh. I don't know. I better vlog about this. So today, I haven't vlogged at all. I applied for 10 jobs and I got my little sebum gland removed. So I'm soaking up the blood. <laughs> That's about all I've done today. So it's been productive, but not much. Applied for a lot of jobs. Got a thing cut off my eye. It was a miracle. I prayed for peace or for something to happen so that he couldn't remove this off my face. <laughs> And uh, it really was a miracle. I was suddenly like pretty calm while he was like putting needles and stuff in my eyeball and cutting it off with scissors. So I, I count it as a success and as a miracle. And I am grateful for prayer and for the Lord. <laughs> I haven't vlogged it all this week. What? I just watched your other ones you yesterday. Did. Yeah, while I missed you and just waited for you to be home. Alex doesn't read the calendar on the fridge, so he forgot that I was going out for his mom's birthday. And then he was all worried about me. Because Tuesday's date night. Yeah. And then it was 7. Because I was like, ah, oh, whatever, she's not home. She's just running errands, probably. And then it was 7, and I'm like, surely she'd be home by now. We talked about going to see a movie. And then it was 8, and then I'm like, she must be busy, or forgot or is doing something important or maybe she fell asleep and then I looked at snapchat and it told me that you were here which spooked me even more and then I called you and then you didn't pick up and I texted you and you didn't answer and then I called you like probably every hour after that he did not do that yeah huh? I called you like three or four times really yeah I didn't get the notifications yeah there's no service down there in bloom your eye looks great I know. I got my eye removed. <laughs> this is the I new love one. That you say that. <laughs> but it's looking pretty good today. Yeah. But check out this shirt. Will you show them my shirt? I like to have fun. What's your name? Danielle. <laughs> and what's the and Russell? Richard. Richard. It's so weird sometimes. I'm gonna watch it right now just because I'm wearing the shirt. Um, got to meet Lisa Gunger last night, even though I've met her before. We like hugged and I cried and it was pretty sweet. I told her sweet things about her book and um, how because my fiance loves her, it made him love me better. And that was brought up because your mom, I would not have told Lisa that. I only would have told her the thing that I said about Rhett. But then your mom and I were waiting in line together for a long time because we were the only two who got books. And then she was like, maybe Alex should read her book too. And then I was like, fun fact, the last thing in the, the last reading that Lisa did was like the blog post she did years ago. And it was on like the liturgist and stuff to for when they were doing woman or whatever mm -hmm. and um she talks about the beginning of the universe being a cosmic orgasm yeah she was really embarrassed because her dad was there tonight she was kind of joking night. about it it was like a fun thing but then michael like quoted her on it and she felt weird yeah her dad was there last night and she kept getting embarrassed she's like i'm embarrassed because i say the word masturbation in that song and i'm embarrassed because my dad's right there <laughs> and then he like would pipe in a lot it was really cute he'd be like i don't know about that how many people were there? It ended up being packed. Wow. But, but in up. bloom, so like a hundred? Okay. Yeah, maybe less. 70. What's the story on Lisa for people who don't know who Lisa Gunger is or the liturgist or even what she was saying? Here you go. Lisa You're Gunger so is... <laughs> What's that, Richard? <laughs> oh, he'll, he'll talk. I like to have fun. And talk about Lisa Gunger. <laughs> Imagine if somehow Lisa found this, or Rhett, even worse. <laughs> that would be so good. <laughs> it's like, oh god, they're crazy. Because I even felt embarrassed anyway, I know.
Tell him. Tell him about Lisa. Uh, she's married to Michael Gunger, the singer who sings beautiful things. Tell him the important stuff about what she says about women. Mm. Pretend like you're selling her book right now. I haven't read it. Yet. Anyway. I'm excited to read that. I'm excited I'm to read it. it too. So yeah, that was really fun. We did that for Alex's mom's birthday. I got my eye removed. I went to the orthodontist today. And they've done the best work they've done so far. There's no way my braces will be off by the wedding. But that's okay. My dad and I watched a lot of Frasier today. And had a great time and ate pizza. Um... My sign language class was less fun than it normally is because it just felt like he was tired of us still not knowing stuff. Or he's just like, ah, oh, you all are idiots. And we are. So that was kind of sad. <laughs> we had a cool interpreter there today, though. <gasps> My camera battery's dying. Oh. I have not been good about vlogging this week at all. And today's Saturday, so I want to get a video uploaded. But I'm sure it'll be a pretty blank video, but... Um, let's see, last night a lot of my bridesmaids came over to figure out our dress order and how they're going to stand, so that's nice, and that's pretty much done, unless the day of someone looks at them and is like, ah, oh, you two should switch, oh, because we only have a couple dresses that were like, hmm, what is this, but it's feeling pretty good, um, and... Then we made our, my ceremony programs, but I, we started doing them and Office Depot only gave us like 70 and I was supposed to have 200 programs and we had like 130 blank sheets of paper. So my mom and I are going to go in there today and be like, hey, what happened? Um, and then my mom and I are going to do some shopping for any last minute stuff we need for ceremony and reception and honeymoon and stuff and then hopefully meet up with Alex's parents to plan some honeymoon stuff and Alex is gone at his bachelor party um yeah so lots of stuff happening I had a crazy busy week um This is everything we did. So I worked on the tables with Tracy and what they'll look like. I went to the orthodontist, hung out for Tracy's birthday. I think I did talk about that. I had that eye appointment to get my little thing removed. So yeah, tomorrow we're gonna start moving in. So today, this morning, I'm gonna start taking down wall hangings because that's something easy that I think can go into the new place to start taking stuff like all this down. Cause that'll be easy to bring into the new place. My mom just called, but my phone died, so I couldn't hear what she said. Cause it died as I answered it. So I'm trying to charge my phone <laughs> and hear what she had to say. <laughs> uh.